Yo, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy, Coach Talk. We're here with a new video, and today, boy, oh boy, as you can see from the screenshot, it is happening. It is really happening. Carson Wentz, Michael Pittman Jr., and Desmond Patton is all working out together right now to figure out their kinks and chemistry before the season starts. It's looking good. But before I get into it, I'd like to say that I'm officially a member now of Colts Brawl. Shout out to everybody that's a member of that group and invite me in, man. We got a big future ahead of us. The social platform is about to explode. If you want to follow them, the link is in the description. Stay updated, man. We got a lot of content for the future for you guys and Coast Nation, man. But into this video, man, I like it. I love what's going on right now with the chemistry. They're all smiling. They're energetic. They're ready for the season. They're working it out right now. And it's a good idea, man. And especially if the NFL happens to cancel OTAs in preseason again. We know how that went last year, and we never really got a chance to see Jacob Eason, which is a big issue. But the fact that we got this picture right now of them working out right there, right there is beautiful, man. You got Michael Pittman Jr. in the picture, Carson Wentz, and Desmond Patton, who is a rising receiver that Coast Nation wants to see on the field and is very confident in. And that's just a scary sight to see, man. I'm pretty sure Michael Pittman Jr. is out there giving them plays and ideas of what they ran last year and trying to get the chemistry and kinks out right now with Carson Wentz so he can be ready for the NFL season. And that is just a beautiful idea. And it's just great right now. They're all together. They're smiling. They're ready to go. And it's just beautiful. I can really see this all working out going into next season. This looks like it's going to be a beautiful masterpiece going into next year. Now, I know it's probably going to be some kinks or some mishaps and miscommunications when the season starts. Being as though we're going to be going against a really lot of good teams next year, according to the schedule, which will be later in the future. So you guys just have to stay tuned for that. But... The fact that they're doing this now is just a beautiful thing, man. You kind of seen uh, the FaceTime where Carson Wentz landed and he was FaceTiming Kenny Moore already talking trash. It's just the confidence level and the competitiveness from Carson Wentz. And that's what you think you would see from him. You know, like I mentioned before he came to the Colts, that the, the Philadelphia Eagles situation was probably just a whole toxic energy situation. It had a lot to do with it. Uh, it had nothing to do with his play and everything. I think the vibe just wasn't there. You know, you had a coach that he wasn't talking to for maybe two months, which is part of a problem. And then you had a team or organization, I should say, that's just not focused on making the playoffs at all. They're rebuilding. They're losing pieces, losing talent. Uh, they have controversy at the quarterback position. You know, you have a starter that's always hurt, but you draft a Jalen Hurts uh, quarterback out of the draft and you're switching them back and forth. So it's just a lot going on in Philly that just looks like they're not in playoff mode. So that had a lot to do with the quarterback situation would can play a very big mental role on the quarterback. So the fact that he got out of there and came to Indianapolis with a good locker room, a good organization, a good fan base, your old offensive coordinator that you won the Super Bowl with and Coach Frank, which is, happens to be a player coach, all these things is a good thing for Carson Wentz. And he has two wide receivers that are very promising. You have a potential number one wide receiver, Michael Pittman Jr., that you're out there with. Tall, lengthy, good route running, can catch the football. And then you have Patman, who's just about the same, but just has to get on the field. And it's going to be a good thing, man. So let me know your thoughts on this picture of those three working out together. Let me get your thoughts on the prediction of the future of the Indianapolis Colts. And let me just get your reactions, man. But you guys stay tuned. This is Coast Talk. Until next time, signing out. Peace.